So we're here at Tate Modern in the first retrospective of the Lebanese artist Salua Rauda Shuker. Uh, it brings together six decades of her work, uh, work that's really never been shown outside of Beirut before, so a great opportunity for people to become acquainted with a figure who really has an important position in the history of abstraction in the world. The works here behind me are figurative works where you begin to see the artist playing with a condensing of forms, so very strong color, very strong outline, and I think a very humorous approach to a uh, tradition of, of uh, French abstraction at that time. There are motifs that relate to the work of Matisse and Leger, uh, but with a, quite a strong female personality. The female figures who are represented are looking out at us with quite a defiant gaze and holding their teacups in a slightly humorous pose. So I think it's a, a rethinking, perhaps, of an early 20th century moment through the eyes of a uh, Lebanese artist arriving in Paris at that time. Her work is highly experimental. She continued throughout her lifetime to produce an extraordinary body of, of sculpture and painting that in many ways allows us to rethink abstraction. Her work is influenced by the West, but it's also a very strong statement about the importance of an Islamic history of abstraction. We're here in the main room of the exhibition and we have a group of sculptures that span from the 1950s up to the 1970s and they really show, I think, the, the significance of the artist, her experiments with sculpture. Different types of materials, she's working with combining different woods, very complex structures, um, which I think reflect her own interest in science and mathematics, also cosmology. Um, they're complicated forms, things that were clearly very carefully planned beforehand and executed beautifully and often very organically, very much a hand-produced sculptural practice. Here we're standing in front of a vitrine that contains the, the mind map, in a way, of the artist Shuker. It's many, many models of objects that were often intended to be large-scale sculptures, sadly never realized. Uh, but among them are ideas for water sculptures, for public monuments, for a bench uh, that, that could be an artwork, could also be sat upon, jewelry, and incredible sculptures made from multiple pieces, works that were intended to be taken apart, put together again, very intimate and, and very much things that you could become aware of through touch, through feel. <music> The importance here at Tate is to bring her into the context of a historical moment um, to say, well, you know, we know about Leger, but here was this incredible artist from Beirut working in his studio who went on to produce an amazing body of work that we, we're not aware of and we need to bring this into the history of art. <laughs>